In recognition of Black History Month, we profile some of North Carolina's native sons and daughters and some pivotal events rooted in North Carolina history, focusing on cities where we have credit union branches. Please enjoy. On February 1, 1960, four young black men, freshman college students on academic scholarship at North Carolina A&T State University, were refused service when they sat down at the Woolworth lunch counter in downtown Greensboro, North Carolina. Their actions launched the sit-in movement, which challenged segregation and the unequal treatment of blacks at restaurants and other public accommodations. The Greensboro sit-ins lasted for five months before Woolworth agreed to integrate. North Carolina native Loretta Lynch currently serves as U.S. Attorney General in the Obama administration. Appointed to the post in 2015, Lynch is the first African-American woman to ever hold the position. Loretta Lynch was born in Greensboro and raised in Durham. Other African-American North Carolinians also serving in the Obama administration are former Charlotte Mayor Anthony Fox, who serves as Transportation Secretary, and former Congressman Mel Watt, who leads the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Born in Asheville, North Carolina in 1922, Floyd McKissick Sr. became one of four black men to be the first African Americans to gain admittance to UNC Chapel Hill's School of Law. He did so after joining a successful lawsuit against UNC in 1951. McKissick served as the National Executive Director of the Congress on Racial Equality in the 1960s, and in the 1970s he broke ground on a planned community on 1,800 acres of land in rural eastern North Carolina, which he named Soul City. McKissick lived in Soul City until his death in 1991. In 2013, a 40-year legal battle with the criminal justice system came to an end for nine black men and one white woman, when then outgoing North Carolina Governor Beverly Perdue issued an official pardon for the group's accused crimes. The Wilmington Ten, as they had become known, were convicted in 1972 for various crimes in connection with an arson attack on a white-owned Wilmington, North Carolina grocery store. The most celebrated of the Ten is Oxford, North Carolina native Ben Chavis, who in 1973 became National Executive Director of the NAACP. St. Luke Credit Union was founded in Windsor, North Carolina in 1944 by members of the local African-American church of the same name. Today, St. Luke Credit Union is a branch of Self-Help Credit Union and continues to serve the local African-American community by providing fair and affordable financial products and services to residents. Born in Wilmington, North Carolina in 1932, Basketball Hall of Famer Meadowlark Levin is best known as a standout member of the Harlem Globetrotters. Known as the Clown Prince of Basketball, Levin entertained the world for 26 years as a Globetrotter from 1954 until 1979. Inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2003, Lemon passed away in Arizona in 2015. During the first half of the 1900s, Durham's black middle class created what has become known as Durham's Black Wall Street. Several major businesses grew out of that success, including several black-owned banks and the nation's most successful black-owned insurance company. In the 1970s, a controversial highway project cut through much of Durham's African-American business corridor, greatly contributing to its destruction and physically dividing the predominantly African-American Haiti section of Durham from the city's downtown center. Ann Atwater was one of the central figures in the effort to desegregate Durham public schools in the early 1970s. Once bitterly opposed by Durham's leader of the Ku Klux Klan, she persisted, and the two eventually became allies in their effort. Their unlikely friendship is immortalized in the book, The Best of Enemies. Born in Kinston, North Carolina in 1943, saxophone player Maceo Parker may be best known as a member of the James Brown Band, which he joined in the 1960s. Parker is credited with defining the jazz funk fusion style of horn playing and has received a Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to music. Founded in 1904, 
The Lornberg Institute is said to be the oldest remaining historically African-American boarding school in the United States. Noteworthy alumni include the former premier of Bermuda, Sir John Swan, legendary jazz trumpeter, Dizzy Gillespie, and basketball standout All-American Charlie Scott, the first African-American scholarship athlete at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill.